Okay, so we watched the brain pop on roots, prefixes, and suffixes. Now we need to actually try to start breaking down words. So in the brain pop, we learned that the root is the simplest form of a word. And a prefix is a word, letter, or letters placed before another word. A suffix is a word, letter, or letters placed after another word. So let's look at research again. Research has a prefix. What do you think the prefix is? That's right, it's re. Re means again. And the root of research? What is that word within a word we found earlier? It's search, that's right. Search means to look for. So what do you think the meaning of research is? That's right. Research means to look for again. Good. So let's try breaking down some more words. What about molded? What is the root of molded word? Good. It's mold. Mold means to make or form. Now, molded does not have a prefix. It has a suffix on the end. So what's the suffix? Ed. And ed means in the past. So what's the meaning of molded? Good. To make or form in the past. All right, let's try a few more words. Biology. This one is tougher. Do you see a root? No, that's okay. Learning the roots comes with time and experience. This time, the root is bio, which means life. The suffix is on the end. Logi, mm-hmm, logi. Logi means the study of. So what is the meaning of biology? Good combining. Biology means the study of life. All right, let's try submarine. Do you see a word inside the word? Marine, very good. What is the prefix on submarine? Good, the prefix is sub, meaning under or below. What is the root word? Marine, marine means of the sea or of the ocean. So what does submarine mean? Good. Under the sea or ocean. All right, we're almost done with our practice. Overdue. Do you see a word inside overdue? You see two words. Very good. Well, one of those words is a prefix. Over means too much. And the root is do, which means to act. So what does overdue mean? Act too much or too much action. That's right, very good. All right, the last practice word is pre-write. Do you see a word in this one? That's right, very good, write. Okay, so what is the prefix? Pre, excellent. Pre means before or in front of. And what does right mean? Very good. That is self-explanatory. Right means right. So what does pre-write mean? Mm-hmm. It means before writing. Okay. So now it's your turn to break down the words. 
I want you to work with your partner and your prefix, suffix, and root sheets to learn what the following words mean. Anthropology, hydrophobia, micrometer, telephone, forehead, resale, semi-soft, nonsense, jumped, rotation, shortest, and senseless. Please work with your partner now. All right, very good. Let's look at what these words mean. Anthropology means the study of humans. Anthropology. Hydrophobia means fear of water. Hydro means water. Phobia means fear. Micrometer means measure small distances. Micro means small. Meter means distances. Telephone transmits voices over long distances. Tele means transmit. Phone means voices. Forehead, right here the part of the face above the eyebrows. And really, the forehead means before the head. And that's right, it's before the head. Resale means selling something again. Re means again, and sale means to sell. Semi-soft means somewhat soft. Semi means partial, and soft means squishy. Nonsense, words that have no meaning. Non means no or opposite, and sense means to make sense. Jumped means to jump in the past. Jump means to jump. Ed means in the past. Rotation. Rotate means the act of rotating, and shun means to do something. Shortest, the most short. Short means short. Est means the most of. Senseless. Sense means to make sense. Less means lack of. So someone who is senseless is wildly foolish, completely lacking in common sense. Very good. All right, so now I want you to choose two areas you still want to practice in. Prefixes, suffixes, roots, or breaking down words. And then I want you to go to the Quizlet for the areas you choose. Use the flashcards to learn, and then play the games for that Quizlet. Here are the codes. Let me show you what I mean. I'll go to the one for breaking down words. So, use the flashcards, the learn, write, spell, and test to study how to break down words, and then play match and gravity to practice your learning, okay? Work on that for the rest of class, and if you don't finish, for homework as well.